Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to explore the Forgotten Lands because it's the only biome that spawns dark wood. And guess what you need to make large chests? You got it, dark wood. In fact, you need 25 pieces to be exact. So I did some testing and I found out that the best lighting to find the dark wood is on a clear night and it doesn't matter what size the moon is as long as the moon is out. Now, I did find that it needs to be dark, so the moon has to be literally up in the sky, not just coming up. And I did notice that my moon isn't completely up in the sky, so we're going to change that real quick, and you'll see why in a minute. It does make it a lot easier to see that dark wood in the grass. I don't know why. I think it's because it turns a little purple, but we're going to show you how to do this as soon as I hit save. It's been almost 20 two hours since I saved so we're gonna do that quick and then we're gonna go into our graphics settings I'm sure you guys already know how to do this but we're gonna go into graphics go all the way down to the bottom and my game is like 12 hours ahead so I have to play with the offset time of day I have to play with that a little bit I have no idea what real time it is in my game let's try the negative 12 hours and see what that does like I said you just want your you want it to be dark and you can see how that dark wood actually stuck out a little bit better. If this is just my preference. You may have a different preference. I do keep my moon to the right of me, like towards frozen heights. I mean, you can really see how much better they stick out of that grass when the grass is more of a purple color. Obviously, the, the dry wood really shows up well in this light. And I didn't grab all the white wood or the dry wood this time around, and I should have. I'm finding that I'm collecting anywhere from five to eight pieces of dark wood at a time. And it feels like it takes about anywhere from five to ten minutes to even respawn one piece of wood, whether it's the dry wood or the dark wood. My recommendation, this is, again, just my preference. My recommendation is when you're walking around here looking for your dark wood, that you also grab anything else around those trees. Basically, you want to grab any kind of herbs that are growing right around your tree. I didn't do that here, and I should have. And any of the dry wood. Get rid of that as well, because you're going to have better odds at the next round getting more dark wood. I didn't have a lot of luck. I did like four passes. My first round, I got eight dark wood. The second round, I got three. And I was doing them in like maybe five-minute increments. So they fall slowly. They do respawn slowly. I would recommend maybe checking up here every 20 to 30 minutes and don't waste your time any sooner than that because even if you check it every five minutes, you'll probably only get maybe one or two dark wood and maybe, maybe a couple more pieces of wood, but they'll probably end up being dry wood. Like I said, don't check every five minutes. 20 minutes is probably good. 20 minutes to 30 minutes is, is good. So after I did this testing with all the trees out here in the Forgotten Lands, I decided to take my testing a little further and I decided to use the plaza trees minus all the other trees in the Forgotten Lands. I was thinking it might be more lucrative to do it that way because all your trees are essentially in the same location and they should have the same spawn rate, right? Well, we're going to find out in just a little bit. The first thing I did when I was preparing to get rid of all my trees, I went around and grabbed any more wood that actually fell in the time that I was making this video. And then I went around and got rid of all the trees. And which, by the way, if you do this, it could be daylight or nighttime. It doesn't matter because now you're not going to have the shade from the trees because there are no trees <laughs> to provide shade. And that's generally what hides your dark wood right? So let's go ahead and put those five plaza trees out and see how we do. This is what some people call farming trees. Basically, you're removing all the other trees in a biome and just relying on the plaza trees to supply all the wood from that biome and placing them in one area for easier collection. That's basically all we're trying to do here. I also put a large plaza tree out just for symmetry. <laughs> I put it right in the middle it doesn't yield any more wood than the regular trees. So don't think that that is part of this. It's just something I thought would look nicer. After I had all of my trees set up and ready to go, I waited for a good 15 minutes and it seemed like forever. And I think I ended up testing trees out for like 10 to 12 hours that day. However, after about 15 minutes, I was actually getting less total wood, dry and dark, than I was with having all the original trees. But if I waited approximately 30 minutes, I was getting a lot more. 
I mean, it wasn't like a lot, a lot, but it was more. So it really wasn't bad to farm the trees here. I did try one more thing though. I had to test further. I thought, all right, I've got one plaza tree down in the Glade of Trust and that one is really doing well. So like overnight, I'm getting maybe, and I don't check this one all the time. So overnight, I'm getting probably up to 15 pieces of wood out of that one plaza tree. And again, there are no trees, really. There's a couple trees, but there are really not many trees down in the glade. That really does make a difference. You can't use a plaza tree and have a whole bunch of trees. Just That's just a little tip for you. I decided that I was going to try just one plaza tree and see how we did with that since we were doing so well down in the glade and we were actually getting a whole lot more every 15 minutes. As you can see here, we did get, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pieces of wood in about 30 minutes because I left it sit there for 30. After 15 minutes, when I showed you this view before, that was 15 minutes. So we really didn't get a whole lot more in that half hour. So that's why I say, don't bother checking these until about a half hour. If you do want to farm your trees like this, that's fine. But I am going to show you that we're going to put that one out and we're going to do a little comparison. And then I'm going to tell you which way is the best way to get the most dark wood so that you can make all those cool things that we can make with dark wood that we never have enough of. And one real quick thing before we get rid of all the plaza trees and only keep one, I did add two more plaza trees. So I ended up with seven and I tested that out for a while. I didn't get as much with seven as I did with five. So I did test that. It doesn't help. I also tested one single one with a couple trees. That didn't do anything either. On a side note, what I did notice is every time I put down a new tree, I got wood, okay? Every time I put it down, immediately, I got some kind of wood. So there's that. I mean, you can take that information and do whatever you want with it. I did try that a couple times just for fun, and I did get wood every time. So you might want to think about doing that if you're trying to farm the dark wood really, really quickly. I didn't really test that out too much. You can go ahead and test that out and let me know what you find. That would be interesting to know. After 30 minutes, again, I started just doing this 30 minutes because it just made more sense. Because every time I checked at 15, there wasn't much difference. But I did get, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 out of one tree. Which I would say is pretty pretty darn good, to be honest, with only having one plaza tree. Will this work? Yes. Is it better than having five? No. Is it better than having seven? Absolutely, it is. Needless to say, after all... All of the experimentation I did throughout those 10 to 12 hours that I experimented, I ended up just going back to the trees. I put about 9 to 10 back in there and I used trees that didn't have leaves because they don't have big shadows. It's a lot easier to see the, the dark wood without the shadows. Now it doesn't matter what kind of lighting you have, you should be able to see these just fine in sunlight or moonlight. Ultimately, to get the most dark wood in one sitting, I recommend a couple things. First, I recommend just keeping your original trees. Don't get rid of them. Don't put a plaza tree there. Again, it's just my preference. And also, set a timer for like 30 minutes and then check for and collect your wood. You'll definitely make out better by checking it in no less than 30 minute intervals during gameplay. This process should yield anywhere from 16 to 25 pieces of dark wood in a span of maybe two hours. That is if you keep up with 30 minute intervals. You might get more if you're lucky and sometimes you'll get less if you're not lucky. But really, honestly, spawn rates really are kind of random, at least from the hours of testing I did. You could end up with three times the amount of dry wood than dark wood and you could walk away with 15 pieces of wood one time and only come out with like nine pieces or less the next time. And full disclosure, I think spawn rates and all of this stuff that goes into collecting this dark wood is based on your game. <laughs> I think it is very random. 
you may not get the same results as I did. I'm really hoping that you do because I did find I actually played this morning and I was getting a lot of wood every 20 minutes. You just have to test it out for yourself and let me know what you think. Did it work for you? Does the plaza tree work better for you? I don't know. I know it didn't for me. But you decide and let me know in the comments which process actually worked better for you. I'd be curious to find that out because I really do think that everything is random. So it depends on the player. It depends on their game. Maybe it even depends on what time of day it is. It could even depend on the platform you're playing on. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed this. And hopefully you'll click on that next video. I will see you guys all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.